What's up guys? Fred here. Did you miss me? Well, I missed you very and very much. So, today we have actually a pretty cool artwork. And uh, it's very different from others because in this lesson we're gonna use Photoshop's 3D features. And we're going to create this artwork here. And I just call it connected because it's almost like, I mean, something like Matrix and like the goal is connected to some kind of computer and it's controlled by this computer just that was the idea behind this artwork and as you can see lots of people loved it it got over 1000 likes and it got lots of comments you know people like oh i've been always been a fan of your work and creativity blah 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 well thank you very much <laughs> and um before we get into the tutorial as usual i want to remind you that you can go to learnfromfred.com and then you can go to membership and there you can access all of my premium classes where I show step by step details on how to create every single artwork that I created because on YouTube I usually show it to you in a quick way but here I'm actually showing it to you in many different videos step by step and explaining you everything in details and it's just $9 per month and first month is actually free so you can start for free you can check it out and if you don't want to continue you can cancel or if you want to continue then you can continue and become a true master and just create cool artworks and also learn some like other stuff i have also other tutorials not only photoshop related so you can just go and start for free okay with that said let's get into our tutorial so just like always, I'm showing to you a recording of the screen that I did when I was creating this artwork here. And uh, you can find, uh, but of course I'm also telling you what to do. And you can find this image, uh, the download link in the in the description of the video. So you can actually download the, video, download the image and work with me together. So you can create this amazing artwork together. So first of all, of course, you have to import the image. I mean that's like normal right and uh, what we do next so now we actually have to create kind of a new layer and why did we create a new layer because we want to create a hole here so we're gonna create this hole here so we can then put cables inside and other stuff and uh, for that we're gonna use pen tool as you can see here I chose pen tool and uh, let's continue so now or when you actually start working with pen tool just make sure you have here shape selected. Okay, that's very important. So actually creating a shape, not a pass. And also make sure that here you have this square selected. And with that said, let's just start creating. And uh, you can just, how this works. You just click, click, and drag, click, and drag. So basically, if you know how pen tool works, then this should be very easy for you. You just basically click, click, and create a shape like that. So as you can see, I'm also creating a curved lines here. And you should know how to do that because that's like the basic thing in Photoshop. If you don't know how to create curved lines, you can actually go here, click right, and then you can find curved pen tool. And curved pen tool helps you to automatically create curved lines when you just click to create the point. So you just continue. As you can see, I'm just defining the shape that I want it to be. And I have to click on the first point where I started in order to finish it and boom oh it's not okay now it's done so now i just want to you know change the shape a little bit because there's something that i don't like for example here i don't like that it's too sharp i want to make it a little bit curved and for that you can actually go here you can click right and choose the anchor uh, selection tool so as you can see this white arrows there are two arrows black and white you have to choose the white one and then you can just click on this angle here and as you can see what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take and drag the circles in order to make sure that my shape is more smooth and uh, boom, now it looks much better. And I do the same for the other point as well. So right now it already looks like a hole in her face, so you're on the right path if you did that. So now I want to edit the colors of my artwork, of the image, of course. And for that I actually created first of all color balance, but I don't need it, so that's why I just turned it off. You don't have to create this, don't worry about it. And that's why, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to filter, and then we're gonna go to camera row filter. That's actually what we need. 
So kind of raw filter helps us to change the colors the way we want them to be. And right now I'm just gonna go here and play with temperature, tint and all of the other values here. And I'm just gonna experiment. So you can also go here and try to experiment yourself. So I'm actually gonna show you the end numbers so that you can actually type in them in your own Photoshop as well and uh, have the same colors. So. Good, so as you can see, these are the numbers that uh, you have to type in your Photoshop in order to have the same colors that I have here. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool already. We made the image sharper and now it has more emotions, more expression, and we can just click OK. Boom, and as you can see, we have here smart row filter added. That's what we need. So now I want to go and change the color of this shape because I don't want it to be black. So I go to fill and then as you can see, I click here and uh, the color, pal color palette opens and I can just change the color and I want to change something like green, light green I would say and uh, so as you can see when I change the color now I think okay I need to do a different color so again I go to color palette and I want to make it a little bit darker green and I decided that I'm gonna actually add the shoulder manually so that's why as you can see here I have created a new layer so you just click here to create a new empty layer and we're gonna draw shadow with brush tool so we go to this empty layer and uh, then what we do in order to make sure that we draw only inside this shape we actually have to make sure we select this shape here and for that you can actually hold ctrl or command on your keyboard and then when you hold ctrl or command you can just click on this thumbnail here and when you do that you're gonna select this shape automatically and this basically means that you cannot go beyond the shape when you have it selected so now what we do i'm choosing the brush tool as you can see here i have brush tool and what we have to do, first of all, make sure your mode is normal. Also make sure that here the brush hardness is 0%. So as you can see, my brush is really, really smooth. And also, of course, I need to change, I need to select the black color. So you select black color, you go to opacity, you make opacity 30%. And uh, then when we have it, we can just start drawing with our brush. Boom. As you can see, I start drawing. So also, before you draw, make sure you have your flow 10%. Okay, that's very important. That helps us to make the shadow really, really smooth. And as you can see, I just start drawing and I'm just drawing with the brush tool. And as you can see, I'm going really on borders in order to make sure that it appears only on borders. Okay, so you have to be really, really precise here. And boom, look at that. So when you add shadow, of course, it's actually going to look more realistic because you just added the shadow. I mean, that's like simple. Right. Nice. And um, I was adding a little bit of shadow on the other side, just trying to make it perfecto. So as you can see, after some work, I made the shadow darker. So again, I draw on over, on over it again and again and again, and then it became really, really dark. So right now, I want to add some pattern inside the um, shape. And for that, we go to the shape, and we have to click twice here on the empty space. So not on the thumbnail, not on the text, but here somewhere on the empty space, you just click double, tank tank, and we wait until layer styles open, as you can see this thing here. And here we have to choose pattern overlay. So as you can see, pattern overlay helps us to add some patterns to our shape. And here, just uh, so just click here and uh, choose a different shape, so I'm gonna show you which shape. Yeah, we choose. So I'm just experimenting, I want to find the right shape for this. But also, first of all, make sure your blending mode is not lighter color. As you can see, I put it on multiply, scale a little bit smaller, I'm just trying to see whether it looks good or not, and it doesn't really look that good, I would say. So that's why I'm gonna change to other pattern. So as you can see, this is the final pattern that I decided to choose. So here, blending mode is multiply, opacity 100%, and we just click OK to close this. So now as you can see, it looks a little bit better because it has a pattern inside it. Let me just continue. And now I'm just going back to this layer and I'm starting to draw a little bit even more shadows. So as you can see, I'm drawing even more with brush tool, just simple black color here to make it darker. And now finally is the moment you all have been waiting for. We are going to create these amazing cables coming out from your face. <laughs> I know this is horrifying, but probably this is how the future is going to be. Unfortunately, we're all gonna be connected to cables and we, we're just not gonna sleep, we're just gonna, you know, take the energy from some kind of source and yeah. It's gonna be horrible, right? It's good that 
we're gonna die before this happens to people, <laughs> to humanity. <laughs> we're probably not gonna live so long, but anyway. So, so you see, living forever would be so bad. You would say all the horrible things that would happen to people if you live forever. So, anyway, Perfect. let's continue. And uh, now what we want to do, we actually want to draw a circle. And that's why we go to this ellipse tool. And here you're actually gonna see a rectangle. So that's why you just click right and choose the ellipse tool. And uh, now I just need to draw a normal ellipse. And I just draw a circle. Good. And as you can see, it's just a simple black color I have inside here. And uh, I just want to change the color to green. So dark green because the cables have to be dark green that's why so now we're gonna create the 3d file that's why make sure you have the ellipse selected here and uh, then we go to 3d and we go to new 3d extrusion from selected layer you just click it new 3d extrusion from selected layer boom and now what is gonna happen we're gonna see some 3d functions open up for us so as you can see, Photoshop is going to ask you whether you want to switch to a 3D workspace and uh, you just have to click yes because if you don't then your laptop is going to explode so yeah that's actually the bad part so you have no other choice so you just click no no yes yeah <laughs> I saw that I clicked yes I clicked no so yeah you click yes and as you can see it's going to change a little bit so what's gonna happen, if you look here, first of all, you see that some tools have changed, but that's because we are in 3D space right now, and we don't need all the tools. Also, you see here this kind of grid. This is the grid that is gonna help us to, you know, navigate in our, in our 3D space. And also, if we go here, you're gonna see this cube, and we see 3D. So before we saw here layers, now we see 3D. And here we're gonna see different shapes. And I know this actually may look difficult, and your head is gonna go like, what, what is happening? So just try it not to explode, okay? Drink cold water, so you know your process. Otherwise, your processor is gonna explode. And um, so you don't have to actually know all of this. I'm just gonna show you the things that you have to click, okay? So just click, 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 and that's why we continue. So first thing actually we need to do: rotate our shape. So as you can see, I fi I'm finding this kind of um, point here. This point helps us to rotate our shape like this so on this axis basically and that's why you just have to press play and uh, we can rotate our axis as you can see i'm rotating it like this boom and as you can see now it's rotated so that's actually what we need we need to show we need to see it from other side so now we have to go to this properties panel and but before you go there actually you need to make sure that you're on the ellipse tool okay on the ellipse 3d layer i would say and then we go to our properties panel so here, right now, you see here this extrusion depth. This helps us to actually make the shape longer. And that's why, for example, if I just make this bigger, see what's gonna happen. Our circle is gonna get longer. So this is actually our cable, and that's why we need to make it really long, but not too long. So if I zoom out a little bit in order to see it. Boom. As you can see, mine is kind of too long, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And also you have to regulate your, your arm size. So as you can see also, now I want to move it a little bit to the right. And as you can see, you can go to this arrow here and you can click it and you can drag it. Boom. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. I'm dragging it to the left and right. So now we have to go back to this 3D cube. And here, what is actually this? These are the sides of our 3D model. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on these sides one by one and then we're gonna change the texture. So if you look here, here we have this kind of cable-like texture with holes and it's also green and now time we're gonna do that. Okay, so as you can see this is now highlighted because we have selected the shape here and we just continue. We go back to these properties and when we go back to the properties, so here you're gonna see this kind of circle and this helps us to add different textures. So for example, if I click and uh, boom, as you can see, I clicked here and I changed the texture, but we don't see it, why? Because actually we have selected the side behind this shape. So we don't see the side that we have selected. That's why we don't see any changes. So I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna select now the next shape. Okay, that's because that shape doesn't really do anything, so I'm gonna select that side here. Boom. 
Okay, so as you can see, the, the, the third side is the one that we actually need because the third side, when I selected this, now the third side is actually responsible for the whole surface because other sides were responsible for other parts. And now if I select the third side and I go to our shape and then I go and change the pattern, see the magic boom! Now it has changed, just, just like that, so easy. As you can see, now it's red, but we need to make it green, of course, but the shape already looks nice. And we can also go through other shapes. I don't remember, okay, I think I chose this one, yeah. This is the one that I chose, exactly. So as you can see, we have the holes and it looks like a cable. So now what we need to do, we need to go to this diffuse and we need to change the color, you just click on it and now you need to make it green. Yeah. Just a little bit dark green. Or... So as you can see, this is the color that I chose and you can actually take these numbers and paste them in your own Photoshop in order to get these exact numbers and you can just click OK. So now we also have your other parameters like shine, reflection, roughness and so on. You can also experiment with these parameters as well just to click them, left, right to see where they actually do the, what you want. So here again as you can see I didn't really change anything so it looks the same and that's why we just continue. So now what I need to do, I need to go back to the 3D shape and I need to select the ellipse and now I just want to you know reposition this shape here. So. And that's why I'm just going to go to this arrow here and then going to drag it up like this. Boom. So also I want to, you know, just move it a little bit up, rotate it. And as you can see, I can go to this rotation, this one here. This is like the middle rectangle and you can just click it and drag it up a little bit. As you can see, it's getting rotated. So here, when you actually transform the shape, you need to find the right point. It can be a little bit difficult, especially if you are just starting out. But you're gonna get used to it. So as you can also drag it a little bit to the right again with this arrow here. Boom. So why did I do that? Because I wanted to be to go like this and enter the skin. That's why I did it like this. So now originally actually when you create a 3D object you have to render it in Photoshop. But when you render it, it's actually going to take lots of time. And uh, actually we don't need to do it right now because we're just creating an artwork and it's just gonna be on our computer. That's what I did instead of rendering, so we don't lose our time. I just transformed it into a smart object. How did I do that? So for example, you just go to this ellipse here, and then you click right and you choose convert to smart object. So that's why first we have to go to the layers, and then you, so if you look here, you go to layers panel, and then here you're gonna have your ellipse with the, this icon, which basically means that it's a 3D shape. And you can just click right and choose convert to smart object. And boom, now it's a smart object. And also we want to go here and we want to go back to essential. So this is basically helps us to change the working space. And we're gonna go from 3D to essentials. Good, perfect. So now I'm just moving it around. As you can see, just a normal shape. I can move it to the left, right, and so on. So again, why did we use actually a 3D functions to create the shape? Because like this, it looks more real. Realistic. And that's actually what we want to do. We want to make it as realistic as possible. So now as you can see the problem is that here we have this kind of shadow and this is a shadow from this object here. And in order to get rid of the shadow, we're just gonna check, select this ellipse, we're gonna go to this create new mask, boom. And then when we have the mask, we're just gonna choose the mask and we're gonna use brush tool in order to delete the shadow. So just when you use, like, if you know how to use masks, it's gonna be easy for you. You just select brush tool and just with black color, make sure you have here black color selected. You delete the shadow that we had from this object here. Boom. And now it's gone. And also, when you do that, make sure you draw on the mask, actually, not on the image, right? I mean, you know how to use masks, right? I mean, this is like the basic essential things of Photoshop. If you don't know how to use masks, then please go and jump out of the window because why do we even watch this video if you don't know how to use masks? No, I'm just kidding. If you don't know, like if you have any problems with masks, you can go to my channel and then you can search there for videos and you can just type their mask and you'll find tutorials related to masks. Okay, so. so now I just moved a little bit up to back to her skin. Okay, so now we want to bend the shape. So if you look here, you're gonna see that it's actually bended, it's not straight. And for that, we're gonna use warp. So you select the ellipse 
and then what you do you have to open the transformation option so basically you need to go to edit and then you need to click the free transformation or you can just use hotkeys which are Control or command plus t okay so again you select the shape and you then you click Control or command plus t and then you, when you do that you're gonna see this kind of transform options open and then you can just click right on the shape and here you can choose warp tool boom so warp tool actually as you can see helps us to warp to bend the object the layer as you can see i'm using different circles and so on in order to bend it and you can actually do the same so it's pretty easy to use you can just look how it i'm um, using it and you can understand it i'm sure so i'm just trying to bend it the way i want it to be bended and then when you and then when you are done you just have to go here and click ok it's that simple boom so now we have the first cable and if you came so far then good job guys congratulations to you that was probably difficult but you made it okay so now we actually need to create more copies of this cable so just and to create a copy as you can see what i'm doing i'm holding alt or option so when you hold alt or option you can just click on the object and you can drag it down or up in order to create a copy or if you don't know how to create a copy with hotkeys you can also go just to this layer you can click right and then you can choose their duplicate layer and just click ok and you're gonna create a copy so as you can see i'm just creating a copy so i'm creating another copy so again you hold alt or option and you create a copy so as you can see here i've created four copies and i'm gonna change them one by one so what we need to do right now we need to um put all of these cables in a group so we can actually delete them from here so they need to be inside the face that's why we need to create a mask so what we are doing here so first of all we need to select all of these four ellipses that we created in our layers panel and uh, cables i mean and for that you can just click for example on this one and then you can hold shift and click here and it's gonna select everything in between as well so it's gonna select everything and then when you did that so when you have all of them selected you can just go here and you can click on group in order to create in order to group all of them or you, again you can just use hotkey which is Control or command plus g so again as you can see now all of them are grouped so now when we have a group we need to create a mask and that's what i did right now i went here and i just clicked on the mask and boom a mask is created and now again we're just gonna use the mask so here as you can see what i'm doing i went uh, and i selected this shape here again why did i do that i selected the shape so i know that okay i need to delete the cables only from here and uh, in order to select the shape again you need to go to the shape and you have to hold ctrl or command and just click on the shape itself so we just did it when we were like starting this lesson i hope you still remember and if you don't then you have a memory of a fish which is three seconds come on guys we just did it you have to remember this i hope you not i hope you don't have a memory of a fish if you do then it's gonna be really difficult for you so then we have this selected what we actually need to do we need to invert the selection and for that uh, as you can see here right now we have also this part selected that's because i inverted the selection so you have you have to go to select and there you will see inverse and when you click it then it's going to inverse the selection and now we have selected not the shape but everything except the shape so we have selected all of these things around okay so what we did we selected the shape first and then we inversed it and now that's why we still have selected everything except the face the shape when you talk too much you start mixing the words and uh, your tongue get your tongue gets like really really weird so now when we have this done um as you can see i've selected everything except the shape i'm repeating again because that's very important i'm on this mask and i can just choose brush tool and with black color i can start deleting these cables here make sure you draw on the mask as you can see now they're gone boom perfect right look at this this is so nice i mean we're almost done not really but yeah <laughs> so now uh, first of all reposition these cables cables and now i want to add shadows to each of the cables and that's so for example i go first of all to this ellipse here 
and I just have to click twice on it on the empty space here somewhere in order to open layer styles. So I just click twice and as you can see layer styles are open and then I go to drop shadow and here I'm just gonna create some kind of shadow for it and uh, yeah size. So you can just copy my numbers here in order to have the same shadow. As you can see angle is also very important and here we can see the shadow if you don't see it there then go here and make sure that preview is checked. This is how you're gonna see the shadow. And uh, I'm just trying to see what should I do. And just click OK, good. And now we need to do the same to other cables as well. So now I need to rotate this. So again, I just click, I open again free transform tool and I go here and I start rotating this. So now um, I want to create a shadow, but I'm going to create it manually. And for that, first of all, I have to create a new empty layer. So I just click here. As you can see, a new layer is created. And I put it behind um, this ellipse so that I'm going to draw a shadow here. And uh, I just use a normal brush tool and uh, just make sure that the hardness of my brush is 0%. So you can go here and click and make sure hardness is 0%. And also make sure opacity is about 30% and flow is about 10%. And we can just start drawing just uh, some soft shadow as you can see. And when you do actually shadow manually, it looks much better than if you would just do it automatically. So and in this case, as you can see, it looks really good. So now we'll just start adjusting some of the cables. So I, t I select this cable and uh, I just open free transform tool just like always. And I just make it smaller. So just make it smaller like this and put it a little bit up and click OK of course. The same goes to other cable as well. We have to select it and then we have to make it smaller. So just we have to make them look different so it's not so it doesn't look like a copy of the same cable over and over. So now I want to select this shape again in order I mean the selection of the shape. So again I go here I hold Ctrl or Command and then I click on the shape layer. And as you can see, boom, it's selected now. And then I go here up and uh, I create a new empty layer. So I just click here to create a new empty layer. And right now what we can actually do is I'm just starting to draw a shadow. As you can see, again, with brush tool, with black color, a really smooth shadow. And this layer needs to be on top so that it's actually on the cables so that we can see it, not under the cables. And as you can see, I'm just creating a shadow manually. Boom, and now the shadow is done and it looks pretty nice. Also, if you see that I tried to focus on the cables mainly. If you look, for example, here it's empty because there is no shadow because there is no cables here. And then again cable and again shadow, no cable, no shadow. So just, I mean, it's logically, right? So, so now I go and create a new empty layer. And uh, also I need to bring it outside of my group. I need to bring it to the top. Good. And now we're gonna start working on the eyes. Finally, so what I'm going to do right now, so as you can see here on the eyes, we have this kind of green thing and it's also pretty noisy, so it looks really cool. It's almost like, and we're also going to add it to this, put to the cable as well. So it almost looks like this um, cable has been there for a long time and that's why now it's kind of like weird. It's, it got like kind of something green and so on, so it's kind of old. And now, for example, what we're going to do, we're just going to use brush tool. And as you can see, I'm changing the color and I want the polymer brush to be green and uh, good. And uh, now we can just draw. As you can see, I start drawing. Just make sure to draw inside the eye. I make my brush a little bit harder so it's not that smooth on the borders. So one eye done. Now we need to do the same to the second eye as well. But also, of course, first we need to make it perfect just like always we do so now i'm gonna start creating this kind of drops almost like she's crying poor girl yeah you know it's probably something bad happened so <sighs> so we just have to draw the tears as you can see and boom i mean this is actually too big for a tear but uh for tears i think I, I, I hope i'm pronouncing it right but you get what i mean anyway so anyway, it looks just the color coming out of her eyes and uh, just 
I mean, so this is actually not that easy to draw, even if it looks so, because you actually have to practice in order to be able to draw it really nice. Sometimes you draw it and then it doesn't look good and so on. So you can, if it, if it doesn't look good, you can just take eraser tool, you can erase this and then you can start again. And yeah, sometimes you have to do things again and again. Then we need to do the same to the left eye as well. So let me go a little bit forward. And also, as you can see, we start drawing the drops here as well. And I'm doing it really slow just to make sure it's really nice. Because we have done so much work, we can't F it up now, right? So, good. Now it looks nice. Just adding some more drops here. Boom. So, as you can see, this is the final look of her eyes so now in order to add noise there we actually have to go to this layer where we're drawing these green things and then we have to convert it into a smart object so he's smart just like we are because we, who we are again we are geniuses right because i mean you need to be genius in order to be able to use photoshop right <sighs> it's not that easy <laughs> so you just click right button on the layer and then you choose here convert to smart object and now he's not stupid anymore right right so now i'm gonna add here some gradient a little bit of gradient but you don't need to do that because it's not really gonna be visible it's not gonna actually make a difference you know sometimes i just add things and then i realize oh okay maybe it would be better if i didn't add this so i'm not gonna show you the gradient part because it's almost not visible we're just gonna jump to the adding noise part so that's why we choose our layer we go to filter and then we go to noise and then we go to add noise and here we just need to add the right amount of noise the problem is that uh, when i add here noise because i have added here gradient we don't see the noise because noise is getting under the gradient that's why i told you don't add no don't add gradient just add noise so i'm just gonna go and remove the gradient anyway so that's why i just add some noise here and i click ok and then i go here and i have to remove this gradient you don't have it you didn't add it so you don't have it that's why you don't have to remove it again please uh, make sure you just don't click anything here. You don't have gradient, so it's gonna look fine for you. I'm just gonna delete this thing here. So just delete it. Good. And I just have add noise here now left. And as you can see, it's a little bit noisy. So I just click twice on add noise. And now I can add even more noise. So I just need to practice. Also, as you can see here, I have set not union form, but Gaussian noise and also monochromatic. So around 50 i'm just experimenting how much should i make as you can see 50 is nice and we can just click ok so what i'm gonna do right now is also not very necessary i'm just gonna add here this uh, number 53 it's almost it's like uh, you know if she is an android robot that's like her number so it's up to you if you want to do it so i'm just it's very simple that's why you don't have to do it so i'm just using text tool clicking here and then i can write here number and uh, 53 and uh, the font that I'm using is actually called uh, Futura. Come on. And then we can just click OK. And also, as you can see, I'm using dark gray color. So I just click OK. And now I just have to rotate this. And for that, you can actually again go to edit and then use free transform. And then you can change the shape, rotate, and so on. So I'm just rotating it, well, making it a little bit smaller, placing it at the right place. And then I just have to click OK. So now I just need to make sure it's blending with the skin and for that we can just go to these blending mods and change them. As you can see I go to normal and uh, here, um, so in most cases it's not gonna do anything but if you choose overlay I think, did I choose overlay? Yeah I think I chose overlay. As you can see I did choose overlay and it looks nice so we can now continue on. Go on. <laughs> continue on. There is no such a thing. So now I want to add uh, this green effect to the cables as well and that's why I just go here and I create a new empty layer and again I use my brush in order to draw some green stuff there and I'm just gonna speed up this process so you don't have to watch everything. So as you can see here uh, I did already do the green parts and um, it looks pretty nice. Now uh, I'm just gonna go to this image here and i want to change a little bit of the colors so again i just go to camera raw filter and i have to click twice on it if you remember we added it in the beginning of our tutorial so we just click twice and now it's gonna open and we can just edit it easily 
So now uh, you can actually just follow what I did here, my numbers, in order to have the same colors that I have on my own artwork. And uh, as you can see, just I'm just adding some vibrance, and then I'm adding also some clarity and other stuff. So just working with temperature. And also, if you look, I go here to HSL adjustments. This actually helps us to um, to change the tone of every color. For example, reds, we can make the reds more red or more orange. We can make the oranges more orange or more yellow and so on. So just changing the tone of the color. And we can go through that a little bit quicker. So you can actually see the end colors that I did choose. I'm just experimenting right now and it's gonna go for a while. So now as you can see, this is the colors that I chose. And as you can see, I made this really, really green and a really bright green and I changed the color so and I think it actually looks nice and I just click OK and boom and as you can see it looks now different more closer to what we had originally but again uh, I'm still not satisfied so I'm gonna go and open this filter again and this is actually a normal process you always go through the process through the filter you open it a few times in order to change the colors and so on so I'm just gonna do a few edits as well so I'm just gonna add some contrast and um, so as you can see these are the colors that I added I mean these are the changes that I did if you just copy these numbers you're gonna have the same so what I did I just added a little bit more vibrance and also added a little bit more contrast and uh, by changing the shadows and blacks and now I go to the HSL adjustments and now I want to change the colors again so as you can see this is what I did for the hue but we also have here saturation and luminance we can change the saturation of every single color separately and we can also change luminance of every single color separately and when we are done with that I'm just gonna go and click OK oh there is also one more thing I forgot to show you so uh, here there was uh, some kind of text and I did remove it by using spot healing brush tool but I forgot to show you this and it's not a big problem because it's just some text and it doesn't actually change anything so for example if I just go back to show you the text so this is the text as you can see and I removed it using spot healing brush tool but you don't have to do it so again it's up to you if you want to do it or not and that's it guys basically with this artwork the only thing that we have left is just to make this a little bit grainy, noisy and you can just you know select the image and then just add some noise to the image. And that's basically it with this tutorial. I know it was pretty difficult and um, it was also difficult for me to shoot this tutorial because I would always you know change my mind, go forward and back, change so much stuff and it was just crazy because whenever I'm creating my artworks I'm always experimenting a lot so sometimes I just you know I do something and I think okay I have to show this to the students and then I realize oh no I cancelled it so and then I have to cut it out from the video and it's like phew, it's just uh, I'm just gonna explode seriously it's, it's so tiring and I'm just gonna explode with that said I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and of course make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my new artworks and also make sure to go to learnfromfred.com so you can start your free months of my most amazing and stunning artworks with detailed instructions. That's it. Bye bye. Little magicians. <laughs> well, because little magicians, because everyone who knows Photoshop is a magician. So again.